Hello, my name is Debbie and I work for Swindon Libraries and Information Service. I'm here to tell you all about the Summer Reading Challenge 2022. So did you know that the Summer Reading Challenge first started in 1999? And also that approximately 700,000 children take part across the UK each year. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So what's the Reading Challenge all about? Well, it's all about reading for pleasure. So choosing those reads that you really, really love and enjoy. So each year there's a special theme and there's a clue behind me of this year's theme. And it is called Gadgeteers. And it's all about innovation and the world around us. So really exciting. So to take part in the challenge, you do need to be a member of Swindon Libraries. So if you're not already a member, it's really easy to join and it's completely free. You can join online or you can go into any of our libraries and join there all for free. Now it might be that you already are a member, but you think mm, maybe I can't take part because you might have fines on your account. You might have books that are overdue or maybe you've even lost your library card. Please don't worry. Just come into any of our libraries and speak to a member of our staff and they will make sure that you are able to take part in the Summer Reading Challenge this year. So to take part in the challenge, you need to do two visits. Now the first visit is to register and the second visit is to complete the challenge. And when you register, you will get a goodie bag. Now in the goodie bag, I'm very excited to show you, there is a pull out folder like this. It's got some information about the characters and it folds out and you can write down your six reads on there and there it shows you a scene. As with every year you then get your three stickers that go into the folder. So let me show you number one and two and the third one there. And some of them you can scratch and smell them and sometimes they're a bit smelly. <laughs> also in your goodie bag you get a bookmark and also a lovely fortune teller game like so. Which looks like great fun. Um, you will also get a competition sheet designed by our children's patron Steve Anthony and this year the contest is Draw a Robot. Really exciting. Can't wait to see all your entries for this. So all you need to do is create something amazing or colour it in, whatever you want to do, and then drop it into any of our libraries and Steve Anthony will then choose the winners um, at the end of September. Uh, also in your um, goodie bag will be an information sheet that will tell you more about the reading challenge. Um, it also will tell you what counts as six reads. because We're asking you to read six reads this year for your reading challenge. So this can include books. It can include audio books, which are books that you listen to. And it can also include people reading to you. Um, also, it can include our e-content, which you can download for free, um, which includes ebooks, e-comics, e-magazines, e-newspapers and e-audiobooks. So you can download those completely for free from home and then write them down in the folder what you've listened to or read. And also what counts as one read? Well, this is really interesting. So if you pick a book that is particularly challenging for you or is very long, that can count as more than one read. So it's absolutely fine if you don't fill in all six of the sections in the folder. Um, and also it can count if you read to someone else. So if you read to a younger brother or sister or a family friend or a friend, um, that's absolutely fine as well. We want you to pick reads that you love and really enjoy. It's all about reading for pleasure. So if you're not sure what to read, it also says here, you can ask a member of our friendly staff for suggestions and they are so knowledgeable um, that they'll be able to give you some fantastic suggestions on new authors or new reads 
that you might enjoy. So when you have finished your challenge and you've filled in your reads on here, come back to the library, any of our libraries, there's 13 altogether across Swindon, and show a member of staff um, your folder and that will show that you've completed the challenge. And then once you've completed the challenge, you will then get a fantastic certificate. And also this year, we have wooden medals that are like this, which are just lovely, really, really lovely. So please come along, register for the challenge, take part, and then come along and get your certificate and medal. We can't wait to see you.